Hello, welcome to the weekly highlights program on Azerbaijan Television with the major developments of the week. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. Now first, let's take a brief look at some of the top stories of this week. President Ilham Aliyev visited Jabral region. President Ilham Aliyev received the credentials of the newly appointed head of the EU delegation to Azerbaijan, Peter Mihalko. On October 9th, President Ilham Ali visited Hadrut settlement and took village of Khojavat region. The head of state laid the foundation of a new mosque in Hadrut settlement, familiarized himself with the construction works carried out on Hadrut Jabrail, Shukur Bailitukh, Hadrut, and Fizuli Hadrut highways, and laid the foundation of a new Hadrut substation. Afterwards, President Ilham Ali met with representatives of the public of Khojavat region and then headed to Tuk village together with them. On October 4th, President Ilham Ali visited Jabrail region. The trip of President Victoria Supreme Commander-in-Chief Ilham Ali to Jabrail region on the anniversary of its liberation, meeting with representatives of the public had a special meaning. The liberation from the Armenian occupation of the region that took a special place in the conquest of the brilliant victory in our centuries-old history, this time had a completely different meaning. Started from Jabrail, and our first city's success in the Second Karabakh War is also associated precisely with the city of Jabrail, Jabrail region. This is an event that will forever remain in the history of our country because the victory in the Second Karabakh War is historical. Of course, the past of the historic victory was difficult. However, a whole nation rallying around the Supreme Command in Chief was able to fulfill this historic mission. The Azerbaijani soldier marching with the victorious march destroyed the Armenian mythology that had been created for 30 years, restored historical justice. As President said, the enemy knelt down before us, raised the white flag. That's when our native land was able to breathe a sigh of relief and the owners returned. Today, as in other territories liberated from the occupation, Jabril's wounds are healed and large-scale creative work is being carried out. Laying of the foundation of the Joint Service Center of Kamas Open Joint Stock Company and the Genja Automobile Plant Production Association within the framework of the President's trip to Jabril, Industrial Park Aras Valley Economic Zone, which will be created in East Sengazur Economic Region, opening of the Jabril substation, 410, 35, 10 kilovolts, laying of the foundation of Jabril District Central Hospital, the school building in the first multi-apartment residential area in the city of Jabrail once again demonstrated the desire of the Azerbaijani state to create. The war is over. We have won a victory, have created a new reality, and everyone must and will reckon with this reality. This is what I mean when I say that we will not allow Armenia to again prepare some kind of provocation against us. This is our legitimate right. The messages voiced by the head of state at a meeting with representatives of public of Jabrail are both regional and global. This message is of particular relevance to peace, security and development. The real indicator of this can be considered the definition of a real framework for practical cooperation in the region, transport and logistics opportunities and other initiatives. All this should be regarded as a result of the independent policy of Azerbaijan in a broad sense. The main goal of the reconstruction of Karabakh and Zengizur, along with the reintegration of the region, is first of all to create comfortable conditions for the former IDPs at their homeland. The foundation of the first residential building was late. The construction of this building is already underway. As soon as it is ready, the first residents of the city of Jabrail will settle there. Until that time, there will be a hospital, a school and a workplace. A program for the gradual restoration of all villages was also approved. In the near future, the master plan of Jabrail city will be presented to residents. Of course, the large-scale work done in Karabakh over the past year testifies to the reality of the goals set. But history, especially the history of victory, must never be forgotten. It must be immortalized to live it over and over again. This is the mission of laying the foundation of victory and occupation museums in Jabrail. Azerbaijan wrote a new history in the 44-day Patriotic War, a magnificent history that will never be forgotten. Now a new life has begun in Karabakh, as President Ilham Aliyev stated at the meeting with representatives of the public of Jabrail region, we have victoriously completed the war. We started with a victory and we will end the peace period with a victory. Allah aşkınlar olsun, 
Cəlab Ali başkomandan kimi Qarabağda, Cəbrayılda Azərbaycan bayrağını asmışsa siz Əməm, əməm Yaşasın ağam, Azərbaycan prezidenti Yaşasın On October 6, President Ilham Aliyev received the credentials of the newly appointed head of the EU delegation to Azerbaijan, Petr Michalko. Your Excellency, respected Mr. President Ilham Aliyev. The newly appointed head of the European Union delegation to Azerbaijan, Petr Michalko, said he was honored to present his credentials to the head of state. He noted that Azerbaijan is an important partner for the European Union and the European Union is ready to work with our country in a strong partnership in key areas such as economy, innovation, trade, energy, investment and infrastructure. He stressed that the signing of a new comprehensive agreement between the European Union and Azerbaijan will be their main priority. Expressing interest in a stable, secure and prosperous First Caucasus within the European Union's Eastern Partnership Program, Petr Michalko said he looked forward to Azerbaijan's active participation and contribution in the preparation for the coming Eastern Partnership Summit. We are also ready to assume role in confidence building and peace building in close complementarity with the OSC Minsk Group. We welcome opportunity to offer our experience in the fields like border delimitation and demarcation using our product tools if partners are interested, said Petr Michalko. Wishing Petr Michalko a pleasant stay in our country, the head of state said that our long-term fruitful and successful cooperation has a very broad agenda. He stressed that the areas mentioned by Petr Michalko are the priority areas of our cooperation and the issues were widely discussed during the visit of President of the Council of the European Union, Charles Michel, to our country. Our reviews on bilateral relations, regional development and the post-war situation completely coincide. The head of state said, noting that we trust the European Union as a great partner and honest broker in the process of mobilizing efforts and contributing to the post-war situation. He noted that 10 years ago, the European Union and Azerbaijan signed a declaration on energy cooperation and energy security, which was a very important step in the implementation of the Thousand Gas Corridor. President Ilham Aliyev said our plans to complete the Thousand Gas Corridor would go beyond that, adding that we could be a supplier to many other European Union member countries. We plan to work with the European Union to expand the geography of water supplies, especially now in the winter, when everyone sees that an alternative source in terms of alternative routes is energy security, said the President. Touching upon the importance of the European Commission attaching great importance to our transport sector, President Ilham Aliyev stressed that we see a serious approach of European institutions in this area. This can be a very promising area, not only in terms of economic and transport cooperation, but also in terms of stability and security in the region as a whole. President Ilham Aliyev said that the issues related to humanitarian education and democratic development of Azerbaijan are on the agenda and they were working closely with the European Union. Of course, I think that one of the most important areas now is the European Union's contribution to development, lasting peace and cooperation in the post-war period, and we are ready for that, said President Ilham Aliyev. We are ready to start negotiations on the limitation and opening of communications. Petr Michalko said he was ready to work very actively for the results of mutually beneficial cooperation. He stressed that the areas mentioned by President Ilham Aliyev are of a great importance for them. He expressed confidence that there will be many opportunities for cooperation in the future. On October 7, President Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mehriban Aliyev, their daughters Leila Aliyev and Arzu Aliyev, attended the inauguration of Baku Zoo, reconstructed on the initiative of founder and head of IDEA Public Union, Leila Aliyev. The first zoo in Baku was opened in 1928 in the Nizami Park of Hatay district. In 1958, a new zoo was opened in Bail. After a landslide in 1985, the zoo was moved from Bail to its current location. These are the pictures of previous state of the Baku Zoo. In the past, the area was unrepaired. The places where the animals were kept were in disrepair as well. 
On the initiative of the founder and head of the IDEA Public Union, Lila Aliva, large-scale reconstruction work was carried out here. As a result of major reconstruction work, which lasted for three years, the Baku Zoological Park has been brought to the most modern level. President Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mihriban Aliyeva and their daughters Lila Aliyeva and Arzu Aliyeva attended the opening of the Baku Zoological Park after reconstruction. Among the strategies set by President Ilham Ali for the development of our country, the scale of work done to make Baku one of the most beautiful cities in the world is growing every year. In recent years, many modern social infrastructure projects have been implemented in Baku that serve the comfort of people and guests of our city. New parks and alleys recreation areas have been created. The Baku Zoological Park, which was reconstructed on the initiative of founder and head of the IDEA Public Union, Lila Riva, has a special place among the enrichment of city life with various projects. In general, the IDEA Public Union has implemented very important projects in the capital as well as in the regions to protect the environment and solve environmental problems. This park was created at the level of modern zoos in the world. Of course, this project will be one of the most popular destinations for many tourists who will visit Baku in the post-pandemic period. After the reconstruction, the zoological park has become a comfortable and interesting place for visitors. The total area has almost doubled to 4.25 hectares. During the reconstruction, special attention was paid to the full preservation of existing trees and shrubs in the area. A more natural environment has been created in the zoological park. Along with other innovations and various entertainment facilities, the area has a playground, lecture hall and electronic guide system. The zoo has become a place where everyone, people with disabilities, visitors of all ages can relax and spend a good time. As a result of major reconstruction, more comfortable aviaries, aquatorium, artificial lakes and pools, and veterinary clinics have been built for the zoo's residents. Animal shelters have been designed to meet the unique needs of each species and have been significantly expanded. It should be noted that not only the appearance of Baku Zoological Park, but also its mission and approach is renewed. The main goal of the Baku Zoological Park is to become a center of education, research and conservation for people to learn about the wildlife, especially the rare fauna of Azerbaijan. In this regard, in terms of increasing the natural populations and reintroduction of species listed in the Red Book of Azerbaijan, fertile conditions have been created here for the breeding of animals. Zoos are not only a place of entertainment, but also a scientific and educational institution. In general, the activities of the zoo include the protection of the environment, as well as rare and endangered species, reproduction, research aimed at improving the conditions for keeping animals in accordance with the relevant requirements, informing people in the field of wildlife and biodiversity. That was all for the week. Thank you for watching us and stay